Hey, Freddy with CG Off-Road. The factory steering stabilizer just won't cut it when you get bigger tires and a lift kit. So today we're going to make our Jeep handle a lot better for when we lift it by installing the Skyjacker Dual Steering Stabilizer Kit, fitting your 2007 to 17 Jeep Wrangler. This steering stabilizer kit is going to directly replace the factory stabilizer with two M95 dampers with easy bolt-on brackets to reduce vibrations and harshness, making your Jeep even more enjoyable. It comes with everything you need for an easy installation, so today we're going to install it on our 2008 Jeep Wrangler. Tools you'll need for this installation a lift or a jack and jack stands, half inch socket, 916 socket, 3 quarter inch socket, a 3 8 ratchet, 18 millimeter wrench, 3 quarter inch wrench, vice grips or channel locks, a marker, and a tape measure. Okay, we have the Jeep up in the air. We're gonna remove the factory stabilizer. All you'll need is an 18 millimeter wrench. Loosen the first bolt and remove the factory nut. We have the nut off, but we can't remove this bolt just yet. Then remove the nut down on this side. Pop the stabilizer off of its stud. Then you're gonna wanna grab the stabilizer and kinda bend the bracket, and the bolt should be able to come out along with the steering stabilizer. Okay, we have the factory stabilizer off. Now we're gonna assemble the Skyjacker kit. We're gonna install the two provided studs onto this bracket right here. Install the studs just like this, along with the provided lock washer and nut. Now hold the stud with a pair of channel locks or vice grips and tighten the nut with a three quarter inch wrench. We're gonna take a tape measure and measure an inch and a quarter away from the differential housing, and that'll be the mark to where we put our new axle bracket. Here's an inch and a quarter, and that's where we will loosely install our bracket. Place the bracket underneath the axle and install the provided U-bolts. Install the provided nuts with the U-bolts. Now we're only gonna get these nuts hand tight. We're not gonna fully tighten them in case we need to make some adjustments. With the bracket installed, we can now place the steering stabilizers on them. Before you do that, you need to press in these bushings. They're super easy. You don't even need to lubricate them up. Just press them in by hand and then put them on the bracket. Lubricate the studs to make it a little easier to install the stabilizers. Install your washers, then the Skyjacker front plate, then a lock washer and nut. Use a three quarter inch socket to tighten down the nuts. The next step is to install the tie rod brackets to make sure we get them in the right spot. We're going to extend the stabilizer from where this point to this point is exactly 13 and a half inches. That's exactly 13 and a half. Do the same thing to the other side. Perfect, 13 and a half on this side. We're ready to install the bracket, so take the provided washers with the urethane bushings and install the bottom washer just like this. Then install the flat part of the bushing against that washer. Grab your tie rod bracket and notice how one side is flat and the other side has a slight curve right here. The curve is gonna be facing front, so this is the driver's side bracket. Now install this bracket right up against the bushing. Install your other bushing. Your other washer just like this. And then the nut and do the same thing for the other stabilizer.
secure the bracket to the tie rod using the provided U-bolts and nuts. Do the same thing on the other side. Everything's now in place, we can tighten everything down. We're gonna start off with the axle bracket using a 9 16th socket. The nuts on the tie rod brackets can be tightened with a half inch socket. Finally, use your 9 16th socket again to tighten the nut on each damper. Now you just need to get these snug. You don't need to overdo it and completely destroy the bushing. And our installation is finished. Okay, we got our Skyjacker Dual Steering Stabilizer Kit installed. It looks way better than the factory. It definitely gave our Jeep a killer look and it's gonna make our Jeep handle a lot better with a big lift and tires on it. Insulation isn't too bad, really shouldn't take you more than an hour and before you know it, you'll be heading off road.